It's weird. No, I can't even, uh, I can't get anything to respond on Facebook for anything. Can't get, uh, it says you have a code. I tried to code. It didn't work. It's just, it just won't work. So I can't get back on Facebook. Um, uh, and it's error things. It's not actually Facebook itself. So it could be the military. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't, no, nah, you know, if I was a, uh, social media corporation i would want to be able to put me out and have people have access to me regardless of what the military does with the stuff um i started on youtube you know it looks like we'll, we'll finish up on youtube um uh, when, you, when you take someone who's uh showing consistent uh communications of people that are looked to to uh Help us be better human beings. And then you try to uh, manipulate that person to try to make yourself feel and appear better than that person. Yeah. Is When you look like that, that Planet of the Ace movie, that's, that's propaganda and it's irrational and it's wrong thinking. Okay, The Abigail movie and then using girl, children in those kind of disturbing movies. Okay, It's child abuse, but it makes millions of dollars. Okay, which is also wrong thinking. Okay, and then taking kids and and turning them into uh, excessive compulsive attention seeking people that make lots of money for advertising and holding necessities hostage for money. It's it's all wrong thinking, and um, I I used to sit there and watch those Judy Christian Murphy videos when Alan Gibson had me watch them at Sierra Vista. I was like. Yeah, listen to this guy. Why do you think they're going to listen to me? It's radically different now. Now we have in, integrated, uh, interlinked, worldwide technology. Uh, so people like myself and Judah Krishnamurti are very important to the world. Okay. We're very important to the world. Um, we're reliable forms of faithful communications to do things right, correctly. Okay. And uh, people that deny that correctness. You know. My my son got into that uh, After Earth movie. And I was like, looked at it. I, like, I kind of get it. Gabe gets into the Star Wars things. and says they're kind of good. It's like, oh, they make no sense scientifically. But it's the entertainment and then the expression of values that they were taught as children by people that they saw as role models because of their social position, because of their economic position. Okay. So in order to have sex and have a wife and have time with your children, you have to have economic uh, status or movement and stuff, which is wrong thinking. Um, right thinking requires that we do uh, necessary things really well. Uh, build houses to let care share, given according to need, build to last. And I talk to people, most people, you know, the, the, it's, I don't think they understand the magnitude that you're holding a phone, okay? It kicks into the technology, technology is integrated. So you, when, if you can understand what I'm saying, okay? I have more, um, more talks with women, okay? And women relate to me and it's, they're fun. A little girl at Lowe's with that we were talking about when the rich people are all nobody pays attention to. Them. She's laughing. She's so sweet. But there's women have this sweetness to them because women give birth to children. And it's, you know, well, she doesn't have any kids. Guys, life is eternal, grace is infinite. It's genetically embedded in their DNA. Okay. That women, okay, don't want to be war heroes and want to live the peace of Lord Jesus and the Messiah more than other men do. Because other men feel inefficient because, well, I'm not David. I'm not the Messiah. It's like, don't worry about that. Just stand up for his love, you know. Like I was telling Dad the other day, they went for, David went from just him against Goliath to 250 to retrieve the people from the Philistines that brought 1,000. Then Muhammad... It was 10,000 fold of families going and doing the right thing because the people don't want to be seen as the betrayers. Because with Jesus, there were lots of, the, there were the, the apostles and the Christians murdered in the Colosseum. So there are lots of people that stepped up. Okay. And today, when that movement happens, 
movement of Ja people. Eh, when that happens, okay, everything's going to radically shift. And we're not going to be all around standing around wearing glasses, looking at the, the planets and the and the moon between us and the sun, you know, and, and going, it's magical, mystical, musical, true, or so. The eclipse dance sort of the thing with the planets align and stuff like that. It's not, I don't think that's tangible. You know, I think there's an alignment from it going the other direction, but I do not think it's tangible for those. You can't have those planets. Your dad was saying, it was this and that. I was like, I understand what he's saying, but I was like, dad, the eclipse was the moon and the sun because there's an alignment, but the alignment would be that way. The other direction. Unless, of course, you know, the, those planets lined up behind the sun. I'm not sure. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know. I was just afraid of Felcher. You know, she gave me that thing about me not listening and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Carol, you're funny. I know. It's a funny movie. It's, I've seen it hundreds of times. It was my Amy's favorite movie. Today's my Amy's 44th birthday. Okay. She didn't think she's going to make it past 28. I never wanted that to happen, you know. She's uh, the mommy of uh, the kiddos that I love so much, and I want them to enjoy mommy as, as as long as possible and as healthy as possible. So I'm really working on that. All right, guys, I love you. Peace.